Um, uh, and the author of uh, an anthology uh, by Broad Potomac Shore, Great Poems from the Early Days of Our Nation's Capital, and A Literary Guide to Washington, D.C. Uh, I've also published five books of poems, most recently, The Scientific Method. Um, and um, I uh, founded two literary journals, um, Beltway Poetry Quarterly and the Delaware Poetry Review. Uh, so um, I wanted to actually talk to you today from my experience as a literary journal editor. Um, and um, you get to a point where you, you've written a bunch of work, you feel like it's, it's finished, you're ready to get it out into the world, um, and it's time to develop some really basic tools. Um, and I wanted to talk about one of those tools that you will need every time you apply for a grant, apply for a prize, apply for an artist residency, uh, or importantly in my case, um, if you send work out to um, anthologies or journals uh, where you'd like to get published. So um, uh, you want to make sure that you have certain things prepared in advance that you don't have to make them up every single time. Uh, it saves you time and energy and it also encourages you to submit to uh, more often to things if you have all this stuff lined up in advance. Um, so the, the, the things that you need to have lined up in advance are of course um, work samples, um, uh, a short one paragraph biography. Um, some places might ask you also for um, an artist statement. Um, what else? Uh, so, you know, it's once you start applying for um, grants and fellowships, and once you start sending your work out to be published, um, you want to keep your, your drafts of all of the, the, the things that you've prepared and add to them, update them, so you don't have to make it all up every single time. Um, so I had said that the bio is the most basic thing that, that you need. Um, so I wanna start there. Um, and I will have to say in advance that one of my big pet peeves when I was working as a literary journal editor was um, people who did not send bios in the correct format. And I have to say, it's, it's easy to stick to the format. Uh, and if you don't, you're giving editors and people who serve on panels an excuse to not take you seriously. So you don't wanna do that. You don't want them to discount you before they've even read your work sample. Uh, so a bio, a one paragraph bio should be somewhere between two and five sentences in length. It should not be longer than that. And the important thing to remember is that you are not writing your um, artistic statement. You're not writing your vision for your work. Uh, your bio is purely factual. Um, it should start with your full name and it should be written in the third person. Um, I have occasionally seen people who write bios that start with some other clause before they get to their first name. Don't do that. Don't say, uh, born in Charlotte, North Carolina, Kim Roberts is the blah, 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 because editors are going to change that. They, when they write up their contributors' notes, they're going to do it alphabetically by author's name, and they want your name first. So you start out by saying, Kim Roberts is. So again, talking about yourself in the third person, it feels weird at first, but this is what you have to do to provide to editors. Um, and you want to arrange your information. You don't get much information. You only get a few sentences. You want to arrange your information from most important credits to least, because if your bio goes long, editors will cut from the bottom up, okay? So if you have publication credits, that goes first. Kim Roberts is the author of such and such a book. Or if you haven't published a, a single author book yet, Kim Roberts has been published in, and then you name some journals. 
uh, the such and such review, the such and such newspaper, and the such and such anthology. So you put your publication credits up first if you have them. If you do not have publication credits, don't worry, don't panic. You will eventually, but in the meantime, you need to give them other factual information that is relevant to you as a writer. You don't want to put in things that are not relevant to you as a writer. Here are other things you can put in the bio. You can talk about your work experience if it has anything to do with writing, teaching, editing, translating, um, something uh, uh, fairly literary. Um, you can also put your education, which does not necessarily have to be related to writing. Um, you can put where you live. Editors love to know that information. Um, but again, don't give us factual, don't, don't say Kim Roberts lives in Washington DC with her fluffy cat and uh, 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 too many houseplants. No, that, our editors don't want that. They're gonna cut it. So you can say Kim Roberts lives in Washington DC. That's it. Um, and um, what else might be relevant? If you are fluent in other languages or sign language, um, that's also of interest and is related to your literary career. Um, that, that would be a great thing to put in there. Uh, thank you. And I totally forgot about that. If you have um, uh, something that's part of your identity that might be related to your work, um, that definitely should go in. So. You can uh, give your race, your ethnicity, your religion, uh, if you are disabled or not, and name your disability, um, your uh, gender, your sexuality, uh, any of those things are important identity markers. Um, and editors love to know that. So, you know, I can say, um, uh, Kim Roberts is the author of such and such, uh, 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 she has won these particular awards uh, and residencies. Uh, Roberts is a Jewish queer writer living in the heart of Washington, DC. Like I would, I would leave the, the identity stuff for your last sentence. But it's, that is also, thank you. I totally mm -hmm. forgot that. That's really important information. Um, and uh, a lot of editors right now are looking to have more diversity. Um, so if you have some identity marker that uh, counts you as diverse, then um, uh, that can sometimes work in your favor. Um, a lot of journals and anthologies are playing catch up for all of the decades when publishing was so white, straight, male dominated. Um, and so, um, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a great thing to, to add to a bio. Um, so once again, um, uh, I would just say important things that, that you can put in might be publications, prizes, um, other awards and fellowships, your education, um, uh, uh, if you have sort of uh, special skills like uh, in translation or speaking other languages, uh, um, if you were, um, if your country of origin is different from the US, uh, editors love to know that. Um, uh, again, uh, any sort of um, uh, identifying uh, uh, markers of race, ethnicity, uh, any sort of difference. Um, and that's about it. 